welcome to my channel so today we're gonna make some egg rolls okay so I have this ground pork it's already brown so I'm gonna drop the white onion Next, we're going to drop our green bell peppers. This is the simplest egg roll, guys. Simple recipe, rather. Then I'm going to drop the green beans and the fresh carrots. So all of these fresh vegetables. Okay. We're not going to add any liquid in our vegetables because the vegetables will produce their own liquid. Then we're going to put some black pepper. Then salt. Okay. Then once we produce the liquid, then we will add the cabbage, okay? So we're gonna add our cabbage. So I chopped the cabbage guys kind of uh, thin, okay? And try to make sure the cabbage is really cooked because they will poke in your um, egg roll wrapper for holding it. So, yeah, that's another thing that you need to keep in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover this and we're not going to stir it right now. And then we're going to adjust our heat to low because our goal is to get those... Um, vegetables to produce their own juice okay guys so now we're gonna start mixing okay so now the vegetables is starting producing some liquid so we're gonna continue mixing all the vegetables until they're cooked So most of these vegetables, I picked this from my garden, except the carrots, okay. I didn't plant any carrots this year. So in this recipe, I just add just a little, it's not that much of the meat, the ground pork. I just add for like a pound of ground pork and you brown it. That's what I put. Majority of it's like vegetables, almost like vegetables egg roll. But it's not, this is not like just vegetable egg rolls because we added some ground pork. Okay. Now, when you are uh, making egg roll and you don't want to fry your egg roll because of the fat, uh, you can air fry it. But if you already put in the freezer, you can air fry. The result will be disaster. I did try that and it doesn't work. The only way you can cook your frozen egg roll that would be deep frying. So it's kind of throwing up there. Kind of giving you some ideas. So I don't try different things. Okay. So now the vegetables did um, start producing the um, their own liquid, their own uh, juice. So that's how we cook our egg roll. Do not attempt to put any or uh, any um, liquid, any water or chicken broth, 
because your egg roll will be soggy. So don't add any liquid because your vegetable will produce the liquid. Okay guys, so this is it. I'm gonna cover this. So it's a very simple, when you make some egg rolls, you can put any vegetables you liked, um, your vegetable you desired to make. But this one, I added my harvest uh, beans, snake beans in my backyard, some built papers, uh, some cabbage, and onions and all the stuff, except the carrots. I did purchase the carrots from the store. So, hope you enjoy this, guys. It's very simple and easy to make. Okay guys, so this is our um, egg roll. We're going to, um, this is the one I'm going, we're going to make the egg rolls. Let me refresh that. So more vegetables, just a little bit of meat. Um, like a pound of ground pork. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside and I have this egg roll wrapper. Okay. The reason I put on the Ziploc because I use some egg roll wrapper made, I made some um, my grandson's favorite after school snack. It's kind of dark though, I don't know why it's kind of dark guys, I'm sorry. Okay so, and then I have this water, uh, the purpose of the water is to seal the in once you're done uh, rolling your egg roll, okay. So, and you can make a really big egg roll with this because this is already cooked. Uh, the vegetables and the meat so I'm gonna have this like this guys more vegetables than meat okay so you wrap like that and then the edge and then roll 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 and then at the end you put some water so that way it will stick there we go guys okay so it is a very simple to make um, I have a lot of vegetables that I harvest in my backyard and sometime I, my freezer is really full. So sometime, you know, kind of creative something like what is your family's favorite things when you get together. So one of it is egg rolls. Every time we have family dinner, I always have egg rolls. So, um, I decided to make some egg rolls today and then I will giving some to my kids and to my granddaughter. So I think I can make this from like probably between 50 to 70 egg rolls so this is how easy to make very simple ingredients and by the way guys if you want to cook just vegetable egg rolls that's perfectly fine you do not need to put some meat but in my end my family like to have some meat at least even though it's not that much but they like to see some meat so that's the reason i added some ground pork um Again, the seasoning is a very simple. It's just black pepper and salt. No soy sauce, anything. Remember, do not add any um, liquid because the vegetables that you're cooking are providing um, the liquid. So, anyhow, thank you, thank you so much, guys. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. And uh, don't forget to press the notifications. You can receive all my incoming videos. Again, thank you so much. May God bless you all. I love you guys. Bye-bye.